hanging out at Granada Hills, uh, following an impressive sweep over, uh, over Palisades. With me, Rachel Kayongo, 12 kills, uh, 5 digs, including a couple of big shots uh, to halt Pally's momentum uh, in the third. Uh, Rachel, I was t uh, talking to Coach Harp, and I said, I thought it was really important not only for you guys to pull off their momentum and, and make that rally in the second game, but obviously even more important to not let them get to a fourth game yeah. to kind of get the, uh, some confidence. I mean, even when it got to 23 all, it seemed like you guys were, you know, remained calm and, and just said, you know, however we, however we need to do it, let's just get two points. Was that, was that, I mean, did you guys have the faith that it's like we can still close these guys oh, out yeah. in three? The key is high intensity and motivation. I have to motivate all of my teammates. And I feel like every mistake has to be made up with a side out. So, yeah. Uh, for, uh, did did last year uh, in the way that the match played out over at their place? Did that factor at all f for you guys in terms of motivation to say like you know let's uh, you know, let's really put a stamp on this and and you know not let it get away from us? I feel like the fact that we beat them in the city championships okay. kind of motivated us to beat them again because we knew that they wanted revenge on us. So. Right. Uh, what, uh, how, how much uh, have you seen this team grow and this team improve even since the city final last year? My team. Yeah. Well, I feel like we have lots of intensity in the beginning and towards the end of the game, of the match. And I feel like the positivity on the team really has a big impact on our play. Is, uh, is, is it your guys' uh, feeling that, just like last year, that this isn't the one and only time that you and Pally will, will hook up? This is probably the first of two times? Yeah. So uh, so how important was it for, for you guys just to kind of, you know, come out and uh, serve tough and run your offense and kind of make a statement? I think it was very important because I... They really, I feel like they kind of doubted us since they beat us in the beginning last year. Right. So, and we also had other teams scouting us too, so we had to bring our best. Absolutely. Uh, is it, uh, I mean, obviously, last year this group was was pursuing and, yeah. and chasing a city championship. Now you guys walk into every gym saying that we're the defending city champions. Yes. Um, how do you guys deal with uh, with that target or that pressure or that expectation? It makes us work much more harder at practice. Okay. Uh, and. and do you, do, you, do you sense that uh, that this team is just um, more confident and calm and composed in situations uh, like we saw today? You get down early in the second game, but you come back. You know they make that run at the end of the third game, but you guys kind of you know were able to just uh, you know, to to hold them off. Is it just the, the mark of a team that's more mature than uh, than last year? No, I feel like it's all the same. Okay. We just have to have those leaders on the team, and everyone's a leader on the team. Everyone knows how to motivate each other, even when we're down. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so uh, right now in September, uh, do you guys just treat this as uh, as just uh, as just another win, or is it there a little extra sentiment with this one? Yeah, we play every game like it's city championships. Okay, uh, very cool. Well, uh, again, Rachel Kayongo, 12 kills and five digs, leading Granada to a 25-12, 19, and 23 sweep of Pally. Rachel, appreciate the time. Thank you. Thanks.